वेलकम माई डियर फ्रेंड्स टू शर्मा क्लासेस नागपुर डॉट कॉम एंड हियर इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन सक्सेसिव डिफ्रेंसिएशन बाई लेबनीज इन विच द क्वेश्चन इज इफ वाई इज इक्वल टू साइन लॉग एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन देन वी हैव टू प्रूव दीज टू थिंग्स एज शोन सो टू स्टार्ट विथ we have to write y in the simplest form initially that is we know we start like this y is equal to sin and then log i am leaving a space over here c for certain reason as will be clear now log x square plus 2x plus 1 is we know it is x plus 1 whole square so this is x plus 1 whole square and this square we know it is of the form log a raised to b which is b log a so this this two i can shift from here to in between like this so this is the simplified form of y this is equation number 1 now we will be differentiating equation 1 with respect to x differentiating 1 with respect to x as the name itself is successive differentiation we have to differentiate it again and again but we will differentiate only for two times and after that we will apply leibniz so we know y becomes y1 and as a chain rule sin of any function is cos of that function so cos this total comes under function so this is cos 2 times log x plus 1 into dy dx of 2 log x plus 1 in which 2 is constant so we will write as it is and log x plus 1 is 1 by x plus 1 further we will now cross multiply before differentiating it again since when we cross multiply the quotient rule will be now replaced by product rule in the second differentiation which is easy compared to quotient rule x plus 1 y1 is now this two and cos 2 log of x plus 1 now again differentiating again differentiating let me write over here this is second equation that is again differentiating equation 2 now to the left hand side i am applying the product rule first function as it is into differentiation of y1 is y2 and second as it is into this is 1 and 2 is constant cos of anything is minus sin so minus sin of the total function is 2 log x plus 1 into again into 2 and, and x plus 1 again cross multiplying again cross multiplying so it becomes in a way part 1 is now proved x plus 1 whole square y2 plus x plus 1 y1 is equal to 2 to the 4 minus 4 whatever this is remaining is from 1 it is equation from 1 it is y so this becomes equation 3 for us and in a way part 
is proved now because this minus 4y and shifted or transposed to the left side it becomes plus 4y and hence part hence part prove now we will apply Leibniz before this let me do a partition for more readability now I am applying Leibniz to the equation 3 and the, speci the speciality of Leibniz is it is applicable only to two functions at a time so first we will apply Leibniz to x plus 1 whole square function of x and y to function of y in which there is a rule that let me apply so I am writing applying Leibniz rule to equation 3 here step by step so see here we should remember nc0 is 1 nc1 is n and nc2 is n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial now in case of Leibniz this nc0, nc1, nc2 will follow along with the product in which will be more clear from this pattern I am writing nc0 function of x as it is don't do anything with it and apply n differentiations to y2 that is now it will become n plus 2 already it was y2 and after y2 we are applying or we are differentiating it n times so it is y n plus 2 then nc0 has to be now replaced by nc1 and the function of x has to be differentiated x plus 1 whole square differentiation will be 2 times x plus 1 and this function of y has to be integrated now so this is y of n plus 2 minus 1 that is n plus 1 now <laughs> nc1 now takes the form nc2 and differentiation of this total x function that is 2x plus 2 which is only 2 and integration of y n plus 1 that is again 1 minus so this it is so it has to be remembered in Leibniz that the fourth term is of no use because nc3 no doubt differentiation of 2 is 0 so we have to stop this thing now we will go for these two terms now again the pattern remains same nc0 function of x x plus 1 y1 and differentiations are carried on to 1 so this is n plus 1 plus nc1 x plus 1 differentiation this is 1 y n plus 1 integration this is minus 1 that is n plus 1 minus 1 this and we have to stop it because this middle term which shows the function of x it has to be differentiated once we get a constant we have to stop it and this minus 4y it is same as as if it was here plus 4y so I am applying Leibniz it is simple 4 is constant function y is differentiating getting different n times so this is this is equal to 0 further again simplifying nc0 I now write the values according to this 1 n n n minus 1 by 2 factorial these are the combination standard formulas so 
x plus 1 whole square y n plus 2 plus n c 1 is nothing but n 2 is 2 x plus 1 y raised to n plus 1 this is n n minus 1 by 2 factorial into 2 into y n see in most of the problems these two gets cancelled in the same pattern 2 and 2 gets cancelled and n c 0 again it's 1 x plus 1 y n plus 1 plus n c 1 is we know n y n plus 4 y n 0 and finally if we simplify it further then we get the final result see here we are having 6 terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in which in the required proof x plus 1 also y n plus 2 we are having a single term of y n plus 2 that's why I am writing same thing x plus 1 whole square y n plus 2 plus now we require y n plus 1 and y n plus 1 is in the second and fourth term this is second this is fourth so when i take x plus 1 y n plus 1 common from second and fourth i get 2 n plus 1 so in the bracket 2 n plus 1 x plus 1 y n plus 1 and i now require y n y n is there in the third fifth and sixth terms here this is third this is fifth and this is six so if i take y n common it is n square minus n n square minus n this is n this n is now this plus n plus four this is plus four okay close y n now this is equal to 0 n minus n plus n gets cancelled and hence we reach to the second part in which x plus 1 whole square y n plus 2 plus 2 n plus 1 x plus 1 y n plus 1 plus n square plus 4 y n plus 0 hence the result thank you my dear friends for watching me